Oh no. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be bad. Is it invisible? It's invisible. <laughs> it would have to be invisible as well. That just doesn't help anyone. There's no goodness here. It doesn't look like I can go there, but oh well. I guess that's fine. I guess I can live with not having to go there. Uh, man, the entire controller is shaking like crazy right now. Come on. That was a good jump. <laughs> oh. I can name 500 things wrong with this idea again, but let's let's just let's just let them do their thing. They they clearly know what they're doing, and I'm just not gonna worry about it anymore. Is she just gonna? What? No way. That she is crazy. How did she get caught at all when she can do this? That wow, lady. I mean, oh, uh, <laughs> what are you doing? This is a good plan. I don't see what's possibly a bad idea about this. And uh, neither does he, so it's good. I don't think I would like to be an invisible ogre, but I guess that's not a choice that you make yourself. And I guess she's just going to ninja her way everywhere. Magical parkour lady is just going to save the day. Give us a few new options everywhere we go. There's a lighthouse over there. And another boat. Yay! I love the look of this little town, though. It's a shame everyone's a snowman, but I like the way this town looks. And I guess this is another uh, another stealth part, another stealth section. How does this work? Oh no! He just ate a snowman just because he's bored, I guess. And he's not even letting us take the same route because he's breaking everything. What are you doing, invisible giant man? It doesn't seem like a very good idea is all. I, I don't think I need you doing this. Otai! Otai! Otai to you too? Oh. Didn't get to spit in that well, sadly, but... That's because I just didn't realize it was there in time. Maybe I'll... Oh, okay. No, I don't think I'm going to be spitting in that well. I think uh, I'll just leave that well alone. Oh, no. Uh, uh. And this is where the game is like, yeah, you're going to have to be able to coordinate. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. Otherwise, this bridge is going to be an issue. <sighs> but fortunately, <laughs> the giant is big. Basically. Fortunately, the giant is big. <laughs> Magical parkour lady is pretty happy about this. <laughs> I think they're going to get along just fine. Not in front of your brother. Oh, goodness. And we never get to see her again. No, no, she's still there. <laughs> Looked like she just ran off for a moment there, but I guess it just looked a bit strange. Let's just admire the view instead for a moment, though. <laughs> just take it all in with the northern lights shining bright. I guess she did just live here. Otherwise, I'm going to say... She probably didn't know about all of this. Uh, please tell me Magical Parkour Lady is not going to be Evil Magical Parkour Lady because that would be 
Well, that would just be disastrous, really. There's no way we can do anything to her. I can block her, though. <laughs> hmm. I don't think there's really any point to doing that, though. So we're just gonna go through the smallest possible road we can think of. We sh probably should have dressed a bit better for the occasion. But, you know, hindsight and all that. <sighs> Nothing we can do about that now. We're just gonna live with the decisions we made. She, oh no, she is the evil magical parkour lady. Man. Why? Just couldn't listen to your brother, could you? She's evil magical spider parkour lady. It all makes sense now. That is an issue. Hopefully we can just roll our way out though. Which this area does seem to be built for considering that hole over there, but we'll see if we'll see if that's gonna be what happens here. Uh, well, swinging back and forth is hopefully gonna be the thing to save us out of this situation because not much else we can do. Uh, that, no, I don't think so. Come on, get in here. Get in the ball. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. I guess I'll just hold L. <laughs> when in doubt, hold LT. Okay. No, you are not going to be a jerk to my brother. You're not going to fall down on him because that was really scary the last time around. Hey! No. What? Oh no. Oh no. She is not having it anymore. Why is she not caring? Okay. I guess I was just doing it from the wrong angle. I guess I really do need to do it from the side, which I guess makes sense. But she just doesn't care that her legs are being ripped apart from the looks of things. Oh. I guess... I should be more careful with how she lands on him, though. I wasn't actually aware that she landed differently on each occasion, but I guess I know now. Uh, mildly tedious, but what are you going to do? I'm glad that the ball just randomly sort of retransforms itself, though. At least now I know what to do, and hopefully everything's going to be A-OK. -okay. Just gonna have my brother roll around like crazy the entire time. And just run, really. I guess that's just gonna be the strategy. Just run for a while until something goes horribly wrong. Like that. And the bloom. Yeah, I think we should be fine. I like the little climbing animation to climb over it. Which is really small, but it's just kind of nice. How many more legs am I going to have to pull off of you before you understand that we are not to be messed with by magical parkour ladies? Magic what? Oh, no, not this again. It's weird how it just sometimes doesn't want to... I guess I just barely don't hit it on the right location or something. How is she still even balking? So will you just please leave? We're just going to kill you out of spite at this point, just because you're being a jerk. I'm just impressed she's still walking, though, like even on two legs with that body. That doesn't seem like the kind of body that was built for two legs. Though I guess this might be somewhat of an issue. Well, I guess she still has like those front little, little tweezers. Bomb. I'm gonna say that was that. Oh. I guess she's not letting it go that easily either, though. How did he get out of the ball? What? How?
for a moment I thought he was just all better again and uh, that was it but I guess he just felt it <laughs> oh god I wish we could have just stayed in the ball and rolled through that hole with the spider webs on it but no it's never gonna be that easy for these guys, is it? Never gonna be able to just take the easy way out for once, but instead... One of the few people that did seem to be the friend in this journey just ends up being a giant spider. Oh no. Uh, can't really see where I am most of the time, but you know. <coughs> Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. This tree, though. That just looks incredible. Look at that tree. That is definitely something that's worth watching. <laughs> Wish there was something we could do about that, though. Just some sort of bandage or whatever. But he definitely doesn't want this entire journey to be for nothing. And hopefully there's still something we can do. Uh, I just want to take in the sights everywhere though, but at the same time it's like... Uh, everything's going horrible. <laughs> But okay, let's let's go. Let's see what there is in this tree. Let's see what you can get out of it that is this important and can hopefully save them. Both him and his father. Uh, even the inside is just massive, just open everywhere. I would love to see a tree like this in real life. <laughs> Obvious reasons. It's weird to have like a part of the game where you actually only control one character though. After having played for several hours, having had two characters the entire time. Can I get on there? No, I don't think so. Let's keep going. Let's see what's left to find. Kind of hard to commentate on this at this point, really. <laughs> After all that's happened. Massive bird's nest. But yeah, just... Look at it. <laughs> just look at it, listen to it, and... The game is just... Expressive enough as it is, really. I guess this is what they were looking for all this time. Carefully sustained. Do wish they brought a slightly bigger flask, though. Even if it would be a hassle to take anywhere. It would be good to have something like this just nearby at all times, unless it just goes stale or something, if it stays out too too long. But let's get out of here. Oh. Gotta make sure we don't accidentally drop it in some silly way and 
lose all of this. I do hope he's okay. It's still in time. Oh no. I guess we were too late after all. Or not? Guess we weren't too late. Or... Were we? I can't tell if his body's still on the floor, if it's just his legs, it's, it's just like his ghost or something. Okay, yeah. Let's hope we at least manage to get the medicine for their father, though. He just looks so exhausted from it all. Look at this. Let's just get this over with. After all they've been through together. Pretty horrible last end like this. With one brother burying the other one. The younger brother even. Yeah.
It's a bird cat. <laughs> How is he alive? Or is it a different one? <sighs> Sorry I'm a bit quiet, but <laughs> it's for obvious reasons. The story just ended up being a bit more heavy than I expected it to be, you know? That's the thing about a blind playthrough of a game, you never know what you're gonna get. And I guess when everyone says the game's good, then I guess it is something you have to expect, but still, man. Uh, it definitely is an incredible story, though. Just incredible overall. Just graphically, story-wise, just all of it. It's just ludicrously good. Ludicrously well done. Still wouldn't mind if it took a bit of a lighter turn anyway. <laughs> Pretty much just was a negative trip every single step of the way. And it just be, it somehow went from bad to worse to worse to worse to worse continuously throughout the entire game. And uh, I wouldn't mind if it, if at least this ended up going okay. We'll see soon, I guess. And Sophie still has enough of the medicine to give to his father. Poor guy. I don't think there are many video games that have really managed to... ...get you to sympathize over a character quite like this. And granted, I do <laughs> not often play games with stories like this. Not really by choice, it's just that I usually don't really run into them, but... Seeing something like this, so... Uh, it is just so well done. And that's really all I have to say about it all. It's just really well done, just every step of the way. And... That's just all I have to say about it. I'm gonna guess that our journey's gonna come to an end soon. Considering we're back home again. We got what we came for. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully at least the father's gonna be okay. If not, I'm probably gonna scream. Oh no. Figures. And after all that, he has to go through something like this. You can do this. Considering everything else that has happened so far, I'm sure that he can do this. As long as I can actually just find the correct path, I guess. Once the game lets me do more than just 
wash my hair with this water. Not really sure what's going on here right now, but... I would assume that this is where I have to go. But he's not... He's not interested in... It looks like... <sighs> Doesn't look like I can really get him to do every anything else right now. Maybe I am just supposed to go back. What is that sound though? That thumping sound. Doesn't look like I can go back anywhere either. It's just making it, it's making like the controller vibrates in, in a really interesting way, which is hard to explain. But it's like it it has it feels like it has a lot more oomph to it than it usually does, which is very strange. Very bizarre. But I get the feeling that I'm supposed to be doing something here and I can't quite figure out how exactly I'm supposed to do this because he just keeps shaking his head. He just keeps saying no. Washing his hair. Not quite sure where I am exactly supposed to go right now. Oh, now he swims. Whenever I hold LT, I guess that was it. <laughs> Just has to believe that his brother's there to help him along. LT being the button for the the action button essentially for the other brother. That was it. He did it. Now we're almost there. Almost done. Almost done worrying about all of this. Uh, I guess I'm pretty much forced to go here. I don't think he'll be able to suddenly grow a bunch of extra muscles and pull that lever. And I'm pretty sure that my father was over here. In that building. Just before I go, I'm just going to go here one more time. Just make sure that there's nothing left to do here. Just one last time. No, I really do hope that we are in time to save their father. His father. If I can go inside, uh I'm pretty I thought this was the house, but God, is it the one down there? Of course, yeah. I went down here with the wheelbarrow. So I am supposed to pull that lever then? I guess I can try the LT button again to see if that's going to do it. I'm guessing just pulling it like this is not going to work. But No, he did it. He managed to do it pretty much pulling his entire body into it, but he managed. Ah, oh, God. It's like he can do all of this by his own, but... Barely. <laughs> but he is strong, though. He is making his way where he needs to be. And his father is still alive. This better be enough. <laughs> Thank you.
No, he's still okay, at least. After all that. <laughs> that is not something you... That any child should go through, really. But I guess... That's the point. Can I play with this? <laughs> Might as well lighten the mood a little bit. If only if it's through this, at least it's something, right? More than nothing. After all of this nonsense, it's nice to at least have something to... At least some sort of cheer it up, but... God. This game took a turn <laughs> into an interesting corner. And it did it very, very well. And preferably, I'm going to stay away from that corner for a long time to come. But I would like to know if his father is okay. And I think I see him there. And I wouldn't be overly surprised if there was another grave there. Just smelling the flowers first, though, before moving onwards. But I wouldn't be surprised if there was another gravestone here. And there is. And that's it. It was a horrible journey, <laughs> and only one of them made it, but in the end they did do what they set out to do. It's just horrible that it had to end like this. The amount of strength in that kid is just ludicrous, though. It is just beyond this world. But yeah. I guess that's the end. I can't imagine there's anything else after this, at least, so. Yep, there you go. Well. I think it's safe to say that that game was really good. <laughs> I haven't had a game that, that like, where it, uh, ugh, that did something like this that well. The story was just incredibly well done. As horrible <laughs> and terrible as the story writers are in terms of being mean, mean people. Horrible, horrible people. They did an incredibly good job. The level design was just ludicrously incredible as well. This looked incredible. And it was just decorated really well. The music was really good. Uh, there were some weird bugs <laughs> as I was playing, but nothing that took away too much of the game, really. And the controls were really well done as well. Like, it's really interesting how you control two characters at the same time with two analog sticks and just two action buttons really and it actually works really well it is confusing though at times there are there were many times where you could see my characters just move and like split up in opposite directions when instead i just tried to make them get close to each other but that's just me really and i'm sure there's a lot of people that have the same thing but overall though that was that was really good I wonder if the soundtrack is available for this somewhere because it is just something that you can probably just have on in the background really. It's very atmospheric. And the voice acting was really interesting. I think the audio balance was a bit off between like the voice and the music. 
Which is probably not something you should worry about, considering they don't speak an understandable language for as far as I can tell, but... Unless it's just... Unless I've just been offending some language this entire game, but there you go. But still, it, it's, it's a bit... Like, somehow, it, it was kind of annoying to me, because... You could sort of hear them talk, but the music was just so loud that if if it was an understandable language, you wouldn't hear what they were saying. And that sort of bothered me. And it is just like nitpicking, really. But it just felt like a bit of a shame to me. But aside from that, like that was that was that's pretty much the only negative point that I can really give to the game. Aside from the writers being mean mean people and that the credits seem to be moving a lot slower than the music is playing as the music ended a couple seconds ago i'm not sure if that's attributed to the music or just me recording at a certain frame rate because sometimes games do that where the credits roll at a certain frame rate and if you lower it then the credits move slower as well and then the music just sort of ends and yeah this happens <laughs> but can't really tell, really. First time I played the game, and yeah, it was good. It was very good. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of just did this as a quick project because I heard this game was really good and also not very long. And I just kind of wanted to record something that I could just get done in a single sitting. And, uh,. Yeah, that's what happened, and I am going to join the group of people that say that this game is really good, because quite frankly it is. I think there were only two achievements that I missed in total, and I'm sure they add some extra scenes, but I don't think I'm going to go back for them. At least not now. Um, but there you go. Maybe someday I'll go back to it. But for now, I'm going to take a break from this game. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, next time we play, we're going to be playing something else. So, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>